when you are asked to find the equation from two points, you will just be putting together two skills that you have already mastered and you can refer to earlier toolkit pages if you need um, some help with either of those skills. So if you are given two points, you first need to calculate the slope from those two points or between those two points. So you need to find this toolkit page within your toolkit. So when we're given two points and we're asked to calculate the slope, we can either make a mini table or we can use the slope formula. So if you don't remember how to do that, go ahead and find that page in your toolkit for a refresher. The second thing you need to do is once you have that slope or rate of change, you need to solve for the start value. So algebraically solving for B. If you don't remember how to do that, you can go ahead and find that page in your toolkit. So you plug in the rate of change, you plug in an ordered pair, one of the two ordered pairs, and you solve for the start value. In this example at the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and do both of those things. But again, if you need more information on either calculating the slope or solving for the start value, then you can find those two pages in your toolkit. So looking at this example, I'm given two ordered pairs or two points and asked to find the equation between them. First, I'm gonna calculate the slope. I'm gonna go ahead and use the mini table method because again, it is less likely to result in computational errors with those integer operations. So my mini table, I'm not even writing X and Y. This is just the easiest possible mini table. The ordered pair four, negative 13 and negative two, eight. And then I'm gonna find the rate of change or slope between those two points. So when I go from negative 13 to eight, I go up 13 to get to zero and then up eight more. So my rise or my change in Y is plus 21. When I go down from five to negative two, I go down five to get to zero and then down two more. So my rate uh, or my change in Y or my run is negative seven. That tells me my slope is 21 divided by negative seven or negative three. Really quickly, if I wanted to use the slope formula instead, x1, y1, x2, y2, I would do eight minus negative 13 over negative two minus five. Eight minus negative 13 is eight plus 13, 21. Negative two minus five is negative seven. So either of those ways is fine to get my rate of change or slope, which is negative three. Uh, a third way I could have defined five negative 13 as x2, y2, and negative two, eight as x1, y1, and I would have um, obtained the same answer for the rate of change or slope, negative three. So there's my first step, calculate the slope, it's negative three. Now I need to algebraically solve for b, which is finding the y-intercept. So in my slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, I'm going to plug this negative three in for, X, for M, my rate of change. So I have Y equals negative three X plus B. Now I need to plug in one ordered pair for X and Y. I'm gonna choose to plug in five negative 13 just cause it's first, but I could also plug in negative two for X and eight for Y. Being really careful to plug in negative 13 for Y and not for X, I say negative 13 equals negative three times five plus B. Let's go ahead and multiply. Negative 13 equals negative 15 plus B. One step equation, I add 15 to both sides and I find that the start value is two. I now have the rate of change and the start value, the slope and the Y intercept, zero comma two. So my linear equation through the points five negative 13 and negative two eight is y equals negative three x plus two. To check my answer, I should go ahead and plug in that second ordered pair and make sure that it makes this equation true. Since this equation should represent every ordered pair x and y that is on this line. So let's check to make sure that eight, my y value equals negative three times negative two plus two. Does eight equal negative three times negative two, six plus two? Yes, eight does equal eight. So that shows me that I have not made a computational mistake because both five negative 13 and negative two eight lie on this line.